Check. Hi, I'm Corey Moss with Convergent AV. We are here at IAMP at Infocom 2017. I am here with, to my right, Ron Camden. Ron is the Vice President of Global Sales for IAMP, and to my left is uh, Bill Natris. Bill is the Director of Channel Strategy Paging for IAMP. How are you, gentlemen? Great. Good morning, Fantastic. everyone. Good. We are starting out. This is Wednesday, uh, start of the show. There's some activity here. It should be building even more in a little while. We're having some coffee. We've got a cookie. All right, we're ready to go. So, uh, you know, what? let's let's start with you, Ron. Uh, how's it? I know it's uh, early, but how's the show so far for you? Everything started off just uh, we're we're full from right from the beginning. Have uh, lots of appointments. Started right at nine o'clock. So we're real excited. Yeah. So it's a uh, looks like it's going to be a great turnout. Excellent, excellent, Bill. All right, so uh, you know something special happening for you this year here at Infocom, yes. and you know we'll talk about that shortly. How's everything going for you so far? So far, this has been a great week. I got here Sunday, and I've already taught two classes. I taught one on mass notification this morning, and uh, it's really interesting the the interest that's going on right now in that market sector because of the changes to the International Building Code. And, the fact that schools are going to need to have voice evacuation solutions deployed, the AV industry is you know, finding a, a renewed interest in, in that technology. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I had a conversation with John Urban, and I think I'll be talking to John in a little while about some of those solutions we talked about, and, you know, a lot of high profile going on for Biamp. Uh, Morgan that I'll talk about with him. But, you know, let's have a little conversation. We were talking about something a little while ago about getting into audiovisual and some interesting stories and uh, you know Bill why don't you start with your little story of how you got into the audiovisual industry back in high school we we were in the media services department we pushed the 16 millimeter film projectors around the building and, but our local PBS station was going to show Monty Python's Holy Grail at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday night and in that age all we had was time clocks that you set and it would turn on the outlet that would start the recorder. Uh -huh. So we daisy chained a bunch of them together so it would start recording at 11 o'clock. And of course, a U-matic tape, you could only have 60 minutes on it. So we had to daisy chain one more time clock on it with another U-matic to record the second. U-matic tape. U -matic. Those were the days, weren't they? Huh? U -matics. I mean, they those weren't the days. They weren't quite as big as pizza boxes, but when they <laughs> fell on your head, they hurt. So you do. So that was, you know, that was one of my first experiences in AV. That's what started it all, huh? Yep. Hey, Ron. So uh, you had a good story. Well, I got uh, involved in the AV industry when I first went to uh, work for Biamp uh, okay. 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, working in the computer industry okay, um, computers, as yeah. a market general manager in the Portland area, and uh, I had known Ralph Lockhart, who was the president of Biamp at the time, and um, Ralph and his partners had made a decision to go from selling Biamp products into music stores to selling it to, uh, at this time, sound contractors. Uh -huh. okay. and so. Um, we were having lunch one day, and he had uh, just parted ways with his national sales manager, and uh, he called me up the next day and said, would you like to lead this endeavor of taking us into um, a more uh, B2B role um, rather than uh, selling the music stores? And uh, as a, you know, again, we'd worked together, so... I uh, jumped at the uh, opportunity, um, and the only, um, you know, a lot of people in this industry get involved because they're playing in a band or uh, guitars or, or right. Ru That's doing the story, sound. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, well, my um, music was playing trumpet in, in high school, so, uh, and I didn't have the passion that I uh, had. Um, that a lot of people had for uh, you know, playing uh, music, right. but I uh, I, I really uh, love the company, as you can tell. I've been there for a, a long time, and that's how I got 
involved, um, and, and it's been a it's been a great ride. It's a, it's a fun company to be involved with. So, Viam's been around for forty years, or a little over forty years. You've been yeah. around for thirty of those forty years. Yeah. But, but you know what? Very interesting. You come from you came from the computer industry. So we were talking about it. Uh, does that mean that Ron brought the IT to AVIT, though? I think that's something we can give him credit for. We'll put it on his resume and see how it sticks. This all started way back when. They've just been talking about it for the last decade or so. They don't know Ron Camden brought it that long ago. So AV Industry, no right now, Ron Camden brought AVIT. Okay. Well, thank you for that, but I don't, I don't know that I can uh, take credit for that. But it has been interesting to go from uh, being involved with uh, digital products going, and uh, at the time Biamp was only into uh, analog mm -hmm. and now all everything we have is is all digital so that's right. it's uh, it's been fun that's right and the yeah. AVB and all of that I mean a very big story for uh, Biamp yeah a AVB with the uh, being an IEEE standard appeals to the IT people mm -hmm. uh, right away. And uh, they've really embraced it. Um, we, uh, we're doing very, very well with AVB. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, uh, it's an exciting time. It, it allows um, integrators, well, and, and end users to think outside of just the room, right. but to think in, t uh, in their building or their entire campus. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you know what? So again, uh, Bill Natris, a uh, very big honor for him at this show. Mm -hmm. And Bill is getting an award, as a matter of fact, later today as the CTS Holder of the Year for Infocom. So uh, Bill, you know, you've won a few awards now uh, from Infocom. This will be my second. So this will be the second uh, one. Uh, which, was what was the other one? Educator, Educator of the Year. Year. That's right. This will be number two, CTS Holder. Uh, you know, what does that all mean for you, Bill? I, in, in all my volunteering with Infocom, very, very strong proponent of our education, very strong proponent to paying it forward the things that, you know, people like Fred Dixon and Scott Scherer and, and, and you know, so many before me had, had done for the industry and, and, you know, feel a need to give back and, and carry that to the next generation. Um, when I was on the Professional Education and Training Committee, we had the certifications under our purview. And it was kind of a floundering program. And I really felt that there was a much greater role for it in the industry. And that's when we created the, uh, uh, the separate certification committee and, and, and uh, more unified delivery methodology of the testing and things like that. And right. I'm just a strong proponent of, of the certification and you know showing those outside of the industry that we have a skill set that maybe our competitors don't. Right. And you know over the years I've I've achieved both of the advanced certifications CTSD and CTSI and and you know there's not a lot of us out there. That's right. That's so, right. But you know with all that work and then to have someone one of my peers submit my name for this award it, you know just it's a huge honor. And, Right. And, uh, right. you know. Congratulations again. Thank you, Ron. Thank yeah, you. and Ron, you know, you had uh, gotten a uh, CTS award too. That uh, was volunteer, wasn't it? Well, it was uh, volunteer of the year. I got that. Uh, it'll be two years ago. Right now. Right. And um, yeah, I've uh, been involved uh, in Infocom for a long time. Bill um, was probably one of the first to. Uh, mentioned that I, uh, I, I need to uh, contribute a little bit. We were sitting in a, a meeting in Chicago, mm -hmm. as I recall, um, and Jay Regina and Mark Glenny were also uh, very instrumental in giving me that little bit of push to get involved. Right. But I, I got to tell you, Corey, once you get into it, um, it is, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, it becomes a, a passion all in itself. And uh, right now, I'm uh, the president of the ICIF, the, the foundation board, and um, we're primarily doing workforce development, bringing new people into the industry. And uh, with the Michael Vergallen Scholarship, the, the grant program, um, I have to tell you, it's very rewarding. It's 
very, very rewarding to be involved. So I, I encourage anyone to um, jump in, get involved. Uh, there's so many things, different uh, aspects uh, that are going on that can contribute to the growth of the industry. Right. Volunteering is such a big part of what happens for Infocom. Education, of course, and again, Bill Natras, CTS Holder of the Year. Big accomplishment, everybody will see that, uh, who comes to center stage. And you know what, I'd like to thank you two for joining me, Ron Camden, Bill Natras, thank you very much. Well, it was yeah. good to see you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.